welcome back in the previous lecture we have learned how to do the implicit enhancement now in this lesson we will see how to implement a enhancement point that is a explicit enhancement so here my business requirement is again i am taking the scenario of mm01 only okay so in the mm01 transaction code earlier i was using some other metal type with the internal number range now this time i am using this herb herb because my requirement is i want to use the external number range and in this demo system to transition code like mm nr i was able to find out like the which which are the metal type which are not assigned to any number range and the external number range are assigned okay so here i found like herb is a metal code for which i can use the external number range now i will explain the business requirement on which i work in one of my project so again same real estate industry case so for each project each project they are creating one plant id okay so t001w is a table to see all the plants in a system okay so whenever the business requirement is when they are creating the metal master that is metal id for the particular flat or unit so they follow the naming convention like first four digit they enter the plant code hyphen then they enter the building tower hyphen the unit number this is the naming convention which they follow okay suppose if i am giving here the same details if i save this this will get saved because i am using external number range if the same metal code is already not there in the system system will create now what i want to do i want to put a validation to check whether this plant is there or not in this t001w table this is a business requirement that plant code validation basically a project validation okay so first we have to find out the enhancement point <coughs> right so this is the mm01 screen so what i will do i'll just press f1 here okay i'll click here on this technical information and this is a screen this is a screen field r m m g1 okay we also know the mara is a table for this i will double click on this screen so in the flow logic of that screen program you have to check for the required like in as end point so as we know see what is the requirement so when i will enter the metal id on the screen then i want to validate so it will come under process after input pai module this is model for programming and here if you see there is chain n change and i can see here the model for the martin matnar see r m m g1 underscore matnar okay i'll double click on this model and here we can see one enhancement point is given so i'll just set a breakpoint here first on this r m m g1 okay let me copy this program because through navigation i come till here okay so what i will do just let me come out okay so now i will open that in a new session this program the fill the place i identified and just setting one break point here now what i will do i will go to mm01 here i will, I will enter the flight code if i enter the same flight code system will give the error okay next level system will give error actually fine so here if i go to desktop 3 my requirement is just to validate the plant code for the particular material type okay in real time i use z flat material type so material type we can check here in r m m g1 m t r t herb and what is my material code here r m m g1 matnar this is the material code fine so here i will implement this enhancement point and i need to check the first four digit of the material id whether 
the plant is there with this ID or not. Okay. So this means that I can use this RMMG1 MATNAR input field. I'll just press F8 as of now. Okay, this is already exist metal code. So system is giving the next level error. That is fine. My current requirement is I want to only validate this first four digit. So what I will do here, you have this enhancement point. I'll click on this enhance option. You can see the arrow icon here. Right click, enhancement operation, create implementation. Give the enhancement implementation ID. So Z works validation. Okay. So validation for project ID. The works is a field for the plant. In T001W, we can see this works. Fine. I'll enter here. I'll assign the package. I'll select my request. Enter. Now I'll select this. So here I can add my code. So as I explained, this is a demo system. So everything I am doing only for my user ID. KZFR. And if save. And first I will do one data declaration. Data LV underscore works type T001 T001W works. Okay. So what I will do now. See if RMMG1 MTART that is external number range. It is not possible that user will create without entering the number range. If MTART equal to herb. In real time, I use some other material type, but here this is available. Okay. So, and if, so if the material type is herb, so what I want to do, this LV underscore works, that is first four digit, equals to RMMG1 matnar plus zero to four. To avoid a runtime error, you can also check the string length of this. Okay, before this, add the code to check the string length. Otherwise, system will give the error. Okay, so before that, check the string length, then assign. I'm not doing that as of now. You can do that. So, here I will get the first four digit. I will also set on breakpoint all my name. Okay, if username case refer, if material type is herb, system will stop here. The first four digit of the matnar I'm assigning here. Now what I will do, I just select all, select single, all from T001W into inline declaration at the rate GS underscore T001W where works equal to LV underscore works. Okay. If psi sub RC not equal to zero, we know the value of psi sub RC, right? If it is, if the record is found, it will be zero. If it is not found, it will not be zero. Okay. Not equal to zero. So what is my requirement here? If the psi sub RC is not equal to zero, if there is no plan, give the error message. Give the error message. LV underscore message type is string. We write here concatenate project ID. Which project ID? R sorry, project ID LV underscore works does not exit. Okay, so we'll write here 
the project ID does not exist into LV underscore message separated by space. And I will give the error message LV underscore message type E. Save, check. So, okay, here I have to use the, because I use the inline declarations, I used the, I have to use the host variable at the rate. Save, check. Now this time no error. So now I will activate this. So our enhancement point is getting activated now. Okay, so now you can see it is activated. Fine. So what I have done, first I uh, identified like which program we can use. Then we found the enhancement point in that. And because I'm working in demo system, I want this to work only on my user ID. Then material type is herb. Check the plant. Okay. And if it is not there, give the error. Fine. So while the runtime error, as I mentioned before this, check the string length also. Now I will go to MM01. Because just we activated the enhancement first time, it takes time. So now I will enter. See 1401. Let me check whether the 1401 is there or not. I think 1401 is not there. Okay. So first we'll create with 4110. First we'll create with the 4110. So what I will do here, I will write here 4110. Sorry. Okay. So this will give error. The so first four digit will not come there. So it is like hyphen A1 hyphen. Okay, size of us equal to four. System will give the error. Project ID does not exist. Let me type again 4110 hyphen A1 104. This time I'm entering the valid code. So if I pass that, see now the box is 4110. System will check if it is there. There is no error. Okay. So now if I press enter, we are able to create the project. 4110 A1104. I will enter FT2. Enter flat. You want to save? Yes. Okay. So now what I will do, let me delete the breakpoint. Debugging we have seen, right? Sorry. <clears throat> So enhance, enhancement option, change operations. So in the change mode, I will just comment this breakpoint. Save, check, and activate. So that we'll not get that debugger screen and we'll easily able to see that. So again, what I will do, I will go to MM01. So first I will create with the existing one. Here I will enter five. Test. Done. Okay. Now I will enter a wrong code. I know, I know 1410 is not there. This plant code is not there. So I will enter this ID there. Okay. See. Project ID 1410 does not exist. Okay, so in this way, we will learn how to implement the enhancement point, that is the explicit enhancement. Fine, so in this way, we're done with this session. Thank you.